Hi everybody, welcome to Dating Interruptus, aka Close Encounters of the Blurred Kind. We are still funneling out people. Today's episode is about two in-person dates with the same person and a couple of people who were filtered out. So we'll start out with the filtered outs through video chat. One guy revealed within the first 10 seconds when I asked um, how old his kids are, six, nine, and 12. Um, and when I asked how long ago did it end with the mother, he moved out two months ago. Didn't seem like it was a match and I did try to get off the phone somewhat early, but he wanted to talk about music and all of a sudden was rapping on the video chat for me. Wasn't very good at it either, but he seemed to think he was, so good for him. Um, then there was another guy um, from India and that wasn't the issue, it was that he specifically wanted a woman who was financially successful and generous. So that sounds like he's looking for like a sugar mama. So no thank you, we're looking for different things. Um, the man that I met um, in person, we can call him um, Jack Woods because he's half Japanese, half black, so Jack, and you know, like Tiger Woods. Um, and really nice guy, really sweet, um, easy to talk to, very natural. Our first date, um, we had a lot of sashimi, and he was um, just asked me a lot of questions about myself and it was a good first date. And so second date, he cooked for me at his place. Um, specifically said, if you don't feel comfortable, we don't have to go. And I felt fine about it. Um, his house was definitely a family man's house. Lots of pictures of his two children and his two bonus kids everywhere. And He's still really involved in their lives and they see, have a big old Christmas for all of the kids and their mothers during Christmas all together as one. That seems like maybe a lot. Um, but really what was going on for me was that <clears throat> this second date, he didn't ask me many questions about myself. <clears throat> Just kind of kept having me do the talking and ask him. And then he finally said, for every question you ask me and that I answer, you should answer. And I'm like, I'm hoping that you'll pitch it back to me. That's how most people do it in conversations, but you're kind of not. And so, and the whole thing is like resting on my shoulders. And to be honest, the worst thing about it was that he kind of reminded me of Mr. Rogers and kind of like his, the way he would talk about things. I don't know, like, well, let's talk about that, Sammy. And it was just, I don't know. I couldn't get past that Mr. Rogers thing. So <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have, we'll have to think about it. Um, thanks for letting me process. <laughs>